Hi, this is Gary Rosenzweig bringing you the 100th episode of MacMost Now. Let's use this opportunity to take a look at the complete lineup of all Mac computers and see which Mac fits which lifestyle. So first up we have the iMac. This is the primary computer used for most people at home and at work. It's used by graphic professionals and is a family computer. Its main advantage is that it has a display built in. But that's also its main disadvantage. When you upgrade to a new iMac, you have to get a whole new machine with a whole new display, which can make it a little more expensive to upgrade. But it's a pretty stylish looking machine and it can work for just about anyone from a video professional all the way to just a casual user. On the one side of the iMac, we've got the Mac Mini. Mac Mini is a great tiny little machine, low cost, but still a lot of punch. It costs as little as $600, which makes it ideal as a second computer, say to match the more powerful one you have at the office, or as a family computer, or if you don't like the whole iMac thing of having a built-in display. Its main disadvantage is it can't really be upgraded very much, but it has a lot of lifespan as when you upgrade to a faster machine, you could probably still use your Mac Mini in some other room of the house or for some other purpose. On the other side of the iMac, we've got the Mac Pro. This is the big workhorse of all the Macs. This is the one you want to get if you're a video professional or someone that just needs a lot of power. You could upgrade this machine pretty much any way you want, have tons of monitors, tons of memory, tons of hard drives in it, and it certainly has the most options of any computer and the most chances of upgrading it and keeping it around for a long time. But it's also the most expensive machine by far. So that was a look at all the desktops, but more and more popular these days are laptop computers. And there's three laptops in the Mac lineup. The first and the main one is the MacBook. This is the main one used by most people. It's not the most powerful laptop, but it does have a lot of punch and it's pretty light. It's a good compromise. It's great for students. It's great for people that travel a lot. It's great for people that have a lot of different tasks than you do in their computer. You can do video editing on it. You can do casual use on it. It's just a great all around machine in a nice light package that you could bring with you anywhere. Now at the top of the line for laptops is the MacBook Pro. Now this is ideal for somebody that only wants one computer but it needs to be portable. This thing's got a lot of power in it. You can do video editing or anything on this machine. It's as powerful if not more powerful than any iMac out there. It's a great machine. It's the one I use and I've got it hooked up to a 30 inch monitor and a keyboard when I'm at work and then at home I use it as a regular laptop. Now somewhere in between or to the side of the MacBook and MacBook Pro is the MacBook Air. This is not a machine because it's super lightweight and it's pretty powerful, but it's missing some key features like the optical drive or a FireWire input. So it's not a very good machine for video editing or doing any kind of heavy lifting, but it's an ideal machine for somebody who travels a lot and only does casual use on it. This machine is going to get more and more popular with the launch of Mobile Me, which allows you to sync up a desktop and a laptop machine much easier. So you're going to find a lot of people, maybe even myself, who are going to have a very powerful desktop machine and then have this very lightweight MacBook Air as their portable machine. So which one is right for you? Well, if you can't quite figure it out, you're not alone. A lot of people have trouble deciding between which Mac to get. Apple is doing a really good job of covering all the bases, which means that an iMac or MacBook may be right for you and it's really hard to choose between the two of them. I'm a big fan of laptops though. My recommendation and just about anybody that asks is always to get one of the laptops, say a MacBook, and then for home or the office, wherever you use the machine most, get a pretty inexpensive LCD display and get one of the cool new Mac keyboards and set it up as a desktop machine there and then take it with you wherever you go. That's what I do and I think it works best no matter what your needs. But then for somebody on a budget, it's hard to resist the Mac Mini. I mean $600 and you get a lot of power in a machine. Plus of course you get Leopard, you get iLife, you can edit video on it, you can do all sorts of things on it. And with LCDs and keyboards being so cheap these days, it's not that expensive to fill out the entire machine and have something that will serve you pretty well and last you a few years. But that all said, my next machine is probably going to be an 8 core Mac Pro because I do a lot of video editing these days and it's going to be nice to have a machine that's got tons of hard drive space and fast processors so that I can edit the video quick. But man, those MacBook Airs are so cool. I really want one of those too. So you see, even I have a hard time deciding. Well, whatever Mac you use, I want to thank you for watching MacMost now, leaving comments and sending me email. I think we've built a great little community of Mac enthusiasts here at MacMost.com and I'm looking forward to the next 100 episodes.